M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Let's upgrade the firmware on the hat that is on our Raspberry Pi 3 at the moment. If you look on the left here, it's very important that you can see that I'm using a 14 megahertz hat. So it says TCXO 14.7456. Look to see what yours is because yours might be 12 megahertz. The nice thing is once you've upgraded, you can run M17 with PyStar. First thing to do is go to configuration click here and then click the update just make sure you update and that's going to bring in everything you need to then put the firmware onto your hat there is a another command that we're going to use as well that will upgrade your sync single mode hat yeah but today in this video we're doing a dual hat so there's two antennas on this hat you can see that everything there is updating and finished and what I always do is go back to configuration and I always click upgrade. So you go expert, then upgrade. I always do that because I'm here and I might as well. Then, then you go back to configuration. Now we've copied the command into the description of this video. So all you now do is go expert, just here, and then over to the right, SSH, okay? SSH will bring up this command window. You don't have to be an expert on on this to do this so put in pi star in small in lowercase pi dash that's that's large so we want lowercase pi dash s t a r enter now please remember this is my learning video i'm learning although it does help people i'm actually not teaching i'm just learning i'm actually teaching myself r a s p b e r r y is my password Okay, that's why my channel is called Diary, because it's me, it's always been me learning. Uh, I'm not an expert. So yeah, we get to this screen, okay, so you've got username, PyStar, password, Raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y, when we get here, now we're going to right click where we've got this white square flashing, and we're going to go paste from browser, and then paste in this window here, and click OK. And you get this is the command. It's a different command if you've got a simplex hat, if you've got a 12 megahertz hat. There's like 20 different commands, but this is the one that works with my hat. So I'm now going to press enter. And then we've got some acknowledgements here modem firmware update utility by Chip Cusio W0CHP from WPST dashboard. So you have to say thank you to Chip. And then we're going to press enter again. And it's going to start doing it. Now remember, I. You know I've already done it so it's just adding it again and at the end of this your hat and we'll see in a second it doesn't take long will be able to run m17 plus be the later you know have all the latest firmware and you can actually buy these dual hats for about 25 pound I've seen them and the sim the simplex hacks are a very similar kind of price uh, and lots of people out there to help you. There's PyStar support forums, groups, Facebook. It's all kinds of support. But the idea of a hat is that we are connecting our digital radios to the internet, talk groups, reflectors, rooms, etc. So that's completed. And then it will automatically reboot. So you might just take a while. You'll think, oh, where's it gone? But if you just wait a while uh, and then it, click the dashboard again, eventually you'll come back, which is quite quick when you're using a Raspberry Pi 3. And you can see here at the bottom left, HS hat 1.6.1, and that's all updated. And then the other really important numbers here, and thanks to Andy Taylor and anyone involved in PyStar, and you get all the information here, G4KLX, CA6JAU, and I'm sure there's many more, and there's a website for MW0, MWZ, Andy Taylor as well. Everyone's working hard on this. Um, go back to our uh, configuration page, look up here, PyStar 4.1.8 and dashboard 202.4.0.127. I will say if you've got a DV Mega Genesis hotspot, that's the one with the nice color blue screen from Carl at DV Mega, um, do, do, uh, I would not update yet because um, uh, it's just, uh, well, speak to Carl at DV Mega or go to the Facebook group DV Mega and get all the information you, you need there until some adjustments have been made. But otherwise, this is just a standard off the shelf MMDVM hat GPIO pins. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel and 7.3.